Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cover. I am Penj and welcome to Startup Panic, which is a tycoon game where we attempt to build our very own tech company from the ground up, taking it from something designed in a bedroom through to a big global mega corporation worth billions and billions of lovely dollars. Either that or we'll just go broke trying. We will go bankrupt and end up in a gutter somewhere. But you know what, we'll give it a jolly good shot. It looks like a little bit of a twist on the classic game dev tycoon format. So we start in a bedroom working all on our lonesome, we assign points to a project, we develop something successful, we want to make more of these kind of successful projects to make more money out of it, so we hire some staff, we buy a new office, we hire more staff, we design better stuff, and so on and so forth. But this one has a bit of a silly sense of humour about it, apparently. There's something in the description of the game about hypnotising staff so they work better or they don't rebel or I don't know, you can pay them lower wages, I'm not entirely sure, but yes, it looks like it could have some fun options to it. It's not sort of entirely deadpan and super serious, it's got a little bit of a, little bit of a sort of a silly kind of feel to it, which could be quite nice. It's out now on the Epic Game Store, and if you're interested, there is a link to the Epic Store page if you want to go and check it out. And we were indeed given a key to this by the publishers, which is very kind. So thank you, publishers. That's very splendid of you. So let's go and see if we can become the next tech billionaire. Okay, so job number one is to choose our avatar. So do we want to play as this anime-inspired chap here or this anime-inspired lady here? I think we'll play as her. Let's play as her. So at the moment, she's called Holly and her company is called Holly's Company. Okay, Holly might lack a little bit of imagination there, but uh, okay, so we need to choose a name of our founder, so her name. We need to pick the company name and then we need to pick a home base. Okay, we've got Australia, Southeast Asia, South Asia, Central Asia. Oh my goodness me. Central Europe. Oh wow, there's loads of options. There's loads of options. Is the UK in this list? Uh, no, Greenland is. Greenland, the Far East, Brazil, British Columbia, Alaska, Ural, Siberia, Scandinavia. There's some very oddly specific kind of areas in this and then some glaring ones that are missing out. Um, okay, well, hang on, hang on. Where are we? Western Europe. I think that's about as good as we're going to get. Um, okay, right. Let's rename our character and give them a proper company name. There we go. That is much better. So, of course, our founder name is Betty. Betty is back on the channel and this time she is setting up a startup company and the company name that she is setting up is going to be called TGC T-Tech because it's quite fun to say because it's got a lot of T's in it. But also, I like the idea that our company Company is somehow working on tea technologies. I mean, maybe not directly, but maybe in the background there, you know, they're developing new teapots or really fancy fast boiling kettles or really lovely sort of uh, nice sort of brewing tea bags or something. I do not know, but there we go. So TGC Tea Tech it is, and we are over here in Western Europe. I mean, primarily we'll be in the UK, but yeah, Western Europe is the only option we've got for that. So here we go, Betty, let's get on with it, shall we? Let's go and start your TGC Tea Tech company and see how you get on. Okay, so we're going into some sort of great big kind of office building. There's a slightly sinister looking guy just there. I want those features done by tomorrow morning. Looks like you were pulling another all-nighter. There's a guy rolling around on the floor just here in obvious distress. I haven't been home all week. My neighbours think I've been kidnapped. Okay, and that computer just exploded. This is not a good place to work then. Ah, I quit. Oh, that's Betty. That's Betty. So Betty worked in this horrible kind of soulless place. But she's had enough. The people are not treating anybody nicely. The management are all terrible, so she has quit. She has quit, and she's going to go it alone. And here we go. So there is Betty's room. Betty's just kind of teleported in, but okay. Hi, Betty. How are you? Oh my goodness me, it's Clippy from, <laughs> from Microsoft Office from about 15 years ago. Hello there, Clippy. I will admit I wasn't expecting to see you ever again in my entire life. Wow, there we go. James Snip. Oh, sorry, not Clippy. James Snip. Sorry, I didn't realise you had a name. Apologies. Hi there. I'm happy to see you. I can't say the feeling's entirely mutual, but okay. I know you probably recognise me from my previous work, but hey, there is no harm in doing an introduction. We know who you are. My name is Snip. James Snip. These past few years, I've been working for a big, shiny corporate company, and now they've replaced me with a younger, brighter, sexier female named Cor... Wait, it's probably best not to mention her name. No, don't say it. Anyway, now I'm working freelance helping new startups achieve their dreams. Okay, so how much do I have to pay you or is there any way I can get rid of you? <laughs> I mean, that's normally what people did when he popped up in Microsoft Office. Let's be nice to him. We haven't seen Clippy, sorry, no, not Clippy, James Snip. We haven't seen James Snip in a long while. Let's be nice. How much do I have to pay you for, you, for your services? I imagine nothing, but okay. How much do I have to pay you? It is in my principles that I don't take a penny from my clients. Even though coffee every now and then would be great, 
No, oh, James Snip, I, I, I've lost, I've lost all faith in you. I'm afraid, James Snip. Never mind. We'll let you off. We'll get you a coffee every so often. Fine. I have an agreement with the game developer stating that I will provide a free service for startups in exchange for a place in the game. Okay. <laughs> It's all about brand, all about getting your brand back out there. Now you have chosen a name for your startup, but a name alone won't make people use your app. You need to develop a feature to attract people to your app. Click the feature button on the left panel. Okay. Ah, right, okay, so we've got sort of tutorial stuff happening. So, okay, right, so we'll click on this thing and jig up here. Feature. Okay, right, feature. Choose a feature to develop. Okay, we've got to do this first one then, have we? So, a landing page. There are many other features. So registering, text ads, profile pages, adding friends, comments, posting content, timelines, group chat, people nearby, premium chat rooms. Oh my goodness me, there's there's gazillions of options. So you could go down like a social media sort of thing by the look of it. So friends and stickers and things. This up here looked a little bit more corporate. Had stuff like a professional profile and a company page. Okay, what's the blue stuff? Ah, this is more sort of gaming. So game reviews and demos and curators of games. Okay, so that's a bit like sort of uh, like you know a game thing like Steam or whatever. Okay, and then just here, this is video editing. Okay, so this is a bit sort of YouTube-y on this end. Oh, and the bit in the middle is just sort of general kind of general sort of, you know, sort of services that you would get from any online platform. So multi-language and ads and analytics. Oh, this is wonderful. Okay. Okay, but we have to start right down here. We've got to get ourselves a landing page. The page which everyone will come to when they actually you know, sort of hear about us and come and see what we're all about. So it's a website page where your visitor arrives and learns about our product. It's a face of our startup, so it will need aesthetic skill. Execute it well, and it could be love at first sight for users, even if someone eventually files for a divorce. Okay, execute it poorly, and your startup's face will have lots of pimples that scare away visitors before they try your product. Okay, slightly weird sort of uh, analogy going on there, but okie doke. So recommended stats two. I don't know our stats yet. I assume we've got sufficient to make this. Uh, development cost $600. How much have we got? We've got $4,000. Okay, plenty of money. Income could be, so per 1,000 users, could be as low as $1.22 or as much as $12.24. But maintenance is $8.57 per 1,000 users. So we want to be making toward the sort of the higher end of that income there. Otherwise, we're not going to make enough money to actually maintain everything. 18 days to develop and one person can do it. OK, well, let's get this done then. So we'll do that. Choose your employees. Jimmy. Do we have someone working for us called Jimmy? I do not know. Employees do their best work when they have high motivation. Okie dokie. Pay attention to the recommended number of workers. OK. Um, oh, no, that was just a demo bit. OK, well, Betty. We need one worker. There is Betty. Betty's got a smiley, motivated face. OK, what's this then? So Betty has three technology points, or whatever that is. Yeah, three points in technology skill. Two in usability, two in aesthetic, two in marketing. And she's, ah, that's motivation. Right, OK, so she's very motivated to get this done. OK, so yes, Betty it is, please. And continue. Choose a priority for this feature. Set your priorities. OK, right, here we go with the sliders. We've seen games like this before. So it said there we need aesthetic skill. So how about we make this, what if we do that 60% aesthetic, then we want it a little bit more usable, maybe 25% usable. And then tech, it can be a little bit technological. In fact, you know what? Let's drop that down to 12. Let's put an extra couple of points in that and one point in that. There we go. Because it's a front page. This is just the bit which looks pretty. It just looks pretty. Lots of flashy graphics and images and lovely stuff going on. You don't need it to be too technological. You want it to look nice and work properly. So yeah, okay, that'll do. Right. Go and develop that then. So click here to show your current objectives. So yeah, create a landing page. Okay, so there is Betty. And Betty is having a wander about. No, they're good. Right, she's going to her computer and she's got kind of thought bubbles coming out of her head, which is showing us that she is doing some work. There is, there's a fish. This is going to be Penge the fish, everybody. <laughs> Hopefully Penge the fish will manage to stay alive this time. Okay, how are we looking? So up to 50%. Hang on, we can move that on nice and quick. The reward for this is we get a company trait. That sounds exciting. I don't know what one is, but it sounds like we should want some. Okay, so yeah, she's just doing this on her own. Trying to figure out what era we're in. It looks like we're in a relatively modern era because the screen that she's got is a proper flat screen. So, you know, it's not an old sort of CRT monitor. We're testing it. She was testing it by looking at a fish. And okay, so the future release is in. We got nine. We got a nine. I assume the overall score is out of 10. 
So we got a nine out of 10. Income, $11.02 per 1,000 users. Maintenance, $8.57. So we're gonna actually make a profit on this. Per 1,000 users, we are going to make money from our landing page. Oh, this is very good. And we've got two trait points. Okay, so tech was brilliant. I said it was brilliant. Usability, slightly less good, but still seemingly okay. Okay, and we've got a reviewer from Bitbyte that says, as bug-free as a pest controller's house. Two thumbs up for your site in a world where websites can be more glitch than glitz. Very good, very good Bitbyte. Okay, so now we've got ourselves some company traits. Company trait unlocked. We've created a landing page and there's lots of very, very happy people. <laughs> and a cat, which is nice. Hello, cat. Okay, confirm that. So now what do we do? How do we do that? Company traits are unlocked. Develop a feature and get points that can be redeemed for a company trait. You can start redeeming your points by accessing the company trait option in the left menu. Okay, right. So it's along here and just there. Choose the trait will give you the most advantage. The trait cost will increase every time you redeem a trait. Ah, okay, right. So these aren't always going to be one. So this one's going to be one and the next time we get any of them, it might be two and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so we've got ourselves, how many are there? There are, there are quite a lot. There are an awful lot of them and I don't suppose, oh no, we can see. We can see the extra ones that are down here. So we can't unlock them, but we can see what they're doing. Okay, what have we got to choose from first? So go green, office rent down by 5%. Okay, sounds pretty good. I don't know if we're paying for our room right now but when we do that could be quite handy furniture costs are down 10 percent okay okay i suspect that the office rent is going to be a bit more that's going to be a bit more sort of uh, useful than furniture costs down 10 percent. but okay i don't know the furniture might be monstrously expensive um or corporate spy research development oh that could be quite good that could be quite good but how much how much research are we doing right now? I do not know. I kind of think this is going to be quite useful. Let's get that trait. Let's get go green. Let's go a little bit environmentally friendly. That's good. So we'll get that trait. One point to activate that. Yes, please. So can we get one of the others? Yes, we can. Okay, so, ah, right. Okay, I thought it meant any future traits would become more expensive. They become more expensive if you go down the line. Hang on, that thing said they get more expensive. But that one costs one. And this one costs one. Mass hit. Ah, <laughs> here's the hypnotizing thing. Mass hypnotize. Use hypnotherapy to make your employees agree to lower their salary to help the company finances. <laughs> okay. I think there's only yours at the moment, so we won't take that. But we do have another point. Why don't we get a corporate spy? Because then if we do any future research, it's going to be 20% cheaper. So yeah, we might as well get that right now. We'll get that in. Okay, right, we've, we've done a thing. We've spent points on company traits. We've been given $500 for that. Thank you very much. That's very welcome. Now, what do we do? Hello, James. Congratulations, you've made your first feature. It's just a landing page, but it's a front page of your startup. Yeah, right, we worked hard on that. Don't just, don't just sort of say it was just a landing page. It was difficult to do. You won't get many users just by creating a landing page. Yes, indeed. Try making other features as well, so target users will want to come back to your website. Oh. One more thing, do you know that some features will bring more income than others. Always try to develop these kinds of features first. Okay, so develop four new features. Okay, this should be fairly simple. I imagine we can go back. Can we go back and redo our, our landing page? I wonder if we can ever go back and sort of rejig it. There's a nine under it. I know, maybe that's just the rating we got. We just got a nine and that is it. We can never go back and do it again. Okay, well, the next one we need to do, I think we need to do these in order. I don't think we can just pick anything. I think we need to go in order. So um, here we go. Let's get people registering. Let's get people doing this. So that's going to take, again, 18 days, another $600. We'll have Betty working on it. Yes, please. Okay. This is going to be more tech, surely. Tech and usability. So they can register and log into the site by giving us their name, email, password, favorite food, thoughts about dubstep, <laughs> birthmark locations. Okay. Your usability skill will be useful here. Okay. So Let's put that up to a, a fairly sort of substantial 60%. Technology, I think, is still going to be required with this. So we'll put that at 25. And the aesthetic, oh, is that is that a bit too low? Let's bring that down by five. Put that up by five. So yeah, that's still going to be that's still going to be a lot. That's still going to be a lot of usability. But that's what people want. That's what people want. Bit of tech behind it to make sure your passwords are secure and all that kind of stuff. And then aesthetic, we'll make it look nice. We'll make it sort of look okay. Uh, let's drop that. 
Let's drop that down to 19. Put that up by one. There we go. I'm sure that'll make all the difference. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's give that a go, shall we? So now we're preparing for this. And then she's going to tippy tap away on the computer. We'll just, we'll move time on. What is around? Hang on. Let's put it on normal, actually. What is around the bedroom? Can we, can we have a look around? Um, so there's, looks like it's raining outside. So yeah, that would kind of befit where we are. Western Europe right now, it's raining. So okay. Um... She's gone for a little wander. She's gone for a break. She's still got ideas. Still got ideas coming out of her head. Yeah, she's working on development. She's not at her screen, but yeah, she's still thinking about things. We've got Penge the fish. There's some sort of packing crate box type things. Did you move in? Are you moving out? And then notice board, books, cactus in a little pot thing over there. Okay, so yeah, nothing overly exciting. I feel like we should buy something for this. And wow. Okay, that's very impressive. Oh, Betty is absolutely amazing. Okay, 9.5. More income and less maintenance. Oh, this is absolutely amazing. Okay, and we have a company status. It is going up in the world ever so slightly. Every time we do well, that's going up. And we've got two more trait points as well. Okay, so what does UX now say? They say, easy as pie, but then I'm biased. I'm a baker. Could use a site while asleep. It's so simple. And I need a lot of sleep. I'm a baker. I get up early. Okay, we get it. You like baking, right? You are. Okay, oh. Hello, Andrew. Uh, guess who? It, it, is it Andrew Alatore, by any chance? Andrew, how have you been? The last time I saw you, you were at the graduation party. I'm great. I'm working for the big company, Inc. now. That's great. Congratulations. What can I do for you? My company needs a system, an uh, system analyst, and I remember that you were the best analyst in the class. Okay. I don't know. I want to refuse. I want to stay here. No, I'm refusing the offer. I'm not. I'm making my own startup. I'm not joining someone else. I'm going to refuse your offer. Sorry, man. I just began running a startup. Oh, he's got a sad face. Oh, little tears. Really? Do you know any one out of ten startups survive? And only five percent survive in the first five years. All right, there. <laughs> Debbie Downer bringing the mood down. It's three percent, but who's counting? Yeah, you tell him, Betty. You know, you will work longer hours than most people, right? Not to mention, you'll have more responsibility. Are you suicidal? No, no. Don't forget, I'll have a slightly less good salary too. But creating a startup is something I want to do. I like the freedom and culture it brings. I see. Best of luck with your startup then. All right there. I wonder what happens there if you say yes. What happens with that? That's quite intriguing. Does he just, do you just leave your startup thing? I do not know. Okay, right. Where are those trait things? Traits. Okay, what's that? That's that's the salary thing. What's this one here? Feature development costs. Ah, okay. Yes, this could be quite good. That will make things a bit cheaper. That will make things cheaper. 5% cheaper from the off for every single feature we do. Yes, please. We'll have that right now. So we'll take some open source software. Thank you very much. Um, okay, let's make text ads. Yay! Text ads are a form of marketing communication that advertisers can use to promote their product or service using simple text. Okay, so I'm going to make it cute with aesthetic and usability skills. 570 of our monies. Betty is still relatively motivated, so let's get this done. So yes, it says aesthetic and usability. So what if we put them both at 40 and put technology, technology at 20 seems high, given that they're important. Hang on. What if we drop that down to... 14 and have 43 on each. Well, yeah, that drops the output up a little bit as well from 0 0.9. Hang on, hang on. Put that down. When does the output become 1? When does that output turn to 1? At 48%. Okay, and then we can go, boop. That's probably not enough in terms of tech, is it? I feel like we've, we've sort of skewed it way too much toward these two. Bring them down. Bring them down. 45, 45. Push that up to 10%. Yeah, does it go down to... When does it go to less? 43 Let's put it, let's put them both on 44, tiny margins, and do that. So 12% tech, 44% usability, 44% aesthetic for these sort of uh, tech stat things. Okay, yeah, let's develop that. Let's see how this goes. So Betty, back on working on development stuff. Okay, move time on a little bit quicker, please. What else have we got? So we've got company, company profile. Okay, so that's how much money we've got. That's our value. We've only got two users right now. Okay. Income, we've made a dollar. Maintenance, we've paid a dollar. Okay, brilliant. We're not paying any rent though, and we're not maintaining our furniture. So expect our chair to fall apart any second now. Okay. So working on the text ads. It takes a little while to get these things done. She's back up and having a wander again. 
that's fine. Go go and stare at Penge the Fish. He's good for that sort of thing. He can provide much in the way of inspiration, can Penge the Fish. And in we go. 100%. Okay, let's see how this does. That is... That's also very good. 9.4. Oh my goodness me. The income coming in. Uh, UX now says easier to use than a spoon. <laughs> Brilliant. Everything in the right place and clearly labelled. A five-year-old could show a three-year-old how to work it. Okay, this is wonderful. This is going very, very well indeed. Okay, now you start your own business. You have to pay the monthly bill. You will be charged $200 a month. Boo, boo with the bill. Oh, you're back again. I see you created a text ads feature. Great job. Hopefully you'll make some money when the users start coming in. You only have a few users coming to your website right now, so you need to do contract work to pay for the cost of feature development. Yeah, we are running out of money a little bit. Choose the contract work you'll think you'll complete with a high score. When clients are satisfied with your work, the company's rating will go up. In turn, this will attract better clients. When they're disappointed, yeah, it'll go down and we will not do very well. Okay, so contract work. Yeah, okay, fine. Where is that then? So it's up here. We've got ourselves an alright amount of money right now. We've got an okay amount of money at the moment. We just need to do the... We need to create four features. I mean, how many have we done? I'm going to create another feature, thank you very much. We've done two. Let's go to a profile page. Let's get this done. That's $585. Oh, hang on. We've got we've got some things. We've got some... Oh, hang on. One thing I haven't checked is spacebar pause. Spacebar isn't pause. Not good enough, game. Not good enough. Um, yeah, where's our traits? We've got two that we could spend. We could get that. Feature development duration. Ah, Okay. So it's going to take us 5% less time to develop a feature. Yeah, okay. These are quite good. These development ones are quite good, yeah. And so there's no point going down to employees yet because we haven't got any. There's no employees to sort of deal with right now. But this is very good. Uh, yeah, we'll have that, please. So currently, projects are 5% cheaper and they're going to get done 5% quicker. Okay, wonderful. Right, let's get another one done then. So make another feature profile page. Let's get this done. Visual display of personal data associated with a specific user. You can share their name, profile pic, perfume preferences, <laughs> favourite names for a scar band, and all the other stuff as well. Okay, needs aesthetic skill to make this visually pleasing. Okay, so we'll pick you. So, I mean, it worked last time when we put aesthetic on about 60, usability on quite a lot, and tech on not very much at all. Um, bring tech down by two, drop that up by two. There we go. Let's go for that then. Let's see if that's going to be a good combo of things. Oh yeah, we need to move time on. Sorry, Betty, I paused you in time there for a second. Okay, it's looking pretty good. I noticed we've got a colossal four users now. Come on, make this good, make this good. Uh, okay, no, that's that's good. That's also very good. 8.9. I'll take that. Maybe we should have put a little bit more in the usability and possibly less on the tech. But there we go. Right, so trait point plus one. That's very nice. Uh, okay, yeah, continue. Right, we'll keep that trait point. We'll keep that. Oh, and our monthly balance is coming in. We're losing money because we're paying though. We're paying our sort of, you know, our way now. Okay, that's not good. I'm pretty sure I just saw something in that mirror. I'm very sure that something just wandered past in that mirror. There's a cat. There's a cat in a box and there's a mysterious kind of thing in the mirror. Okay, good. Um, Let's get our last feature done, shall we? Let's get add friend. Okay, this needs a usability skill. It's going to cost us 693 so it's going to be quite expensive. So let's get this in now. So yes, please. Usability up nice and high. Aesthetic probably relatively high. And tech again quite low, which is a bit of a shame because I think that's where, that's where Betty's sort of skill lies. She's quite good at the tech side of things. Um, let's do that. Let's have 14, 62 in usability and 24 in aesthetic just to make it look nice. So yeah, it needs enough usability skill. Yeah, okay, can we get that output to 0 0.5? Is there any way that that can go up to 0 0.5? Ah, yeah, like that. There we go. There we go. Yeah, okay, develop this bit then. Let's develop the final of our new features, the four new ones, to get this in. We'll get ourselves the reward of $1,000, which is quite nice. And then, yeah, people will be able to add friends. I mean, there's not many other people to, you know, choose as a friend on this. We've only got four people. I mean, you know, it could be a nice sort of very small friendship group there. All four of them could become best buddies. I mean, yeah, she's working very hard on it. It is ticking up. Yeah, we need to, we're going to need to get this done. That money will come in. We'll then go and do the, um, we'll go and do the contract thing after that. Oh, technology was terrible, but this is eight. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We're still, we're still looking good. Your website is looking better than GG Hadid. Okay, it's gorgeous. Pity there isn't a catwalk for websites or yours will be strutting its stuff. Okay, thanks, Red Square. Another trait point. 
which is quite nice. And we've done our objective. $1,000 comes our way, which is very lovely. Right, pause time for a second. Hang on a moment. So, traits. We've got ourselves, what have we got? How many do we have right now? Um, it doesn't tell us on here, does it? I can't see on the screen. Our current points, one. We've only got the one, have we? Okay, so we can't, we can't get anything exciting. I don't want to get that. That's three points. Ah, now they've gone up a little bit. They've gone up. Look, now they're worth three points. Okay, okay, I see. So if we said, I want to get that, it's going to say, no, you haven't got enough. Okay, so that one is viral marketing. Ah, we haven't got marketing yet. Contract work reward. That would be quite handy to have right now, wouldn't it? But never mind, we haven't got that. Okay, complete one successful contract for 500 of your monies. Okay, let's go and have a look at our contracts then. Choose what we want to do. So we need to see what we've got and what we're good at. Okay, so what are we looking at here? So we've got ourselves three and a half grand for designing some t-shirts. I'm looking for a minimalistic modern design that could be used on t-shirts and hoodies. Okay, anyone with an aesthetic skill. Well, what are we like? Employees, employee list. She's more tech. She's more tech is Betty. I feel like I'm living in a game. <laughs> That's weird. I wonder why that is. Um, yeah, contract work. Does anybody have any kind of tech things that they need? Make sure of necessary technical skills. Yeah, 16 days pays three grand, but that requires tech skills. Yeah, let's go for that. Let's take that job because the rest seem to be all that's aesthetic skills. That's that's tech skills, but that's paying less than the other one and has a shorter time scale. Let's go for that one. Need help with CMS web development for a website. Okay, so take job. Uh, we'll do it, obviously, because we've got no one else to do the job. We're going to get a lot of money out of this if it works. Betty is still relatively motivated, although I don't know how to get that up. I don't know how to increase her motivation. Do we just let her have a little bit of a rest or something? Look at that. 268 users all of a sudden. Oh, that's very encouraging. We're going to be making money off that, of course. Every user we get, we make a tiny, tiny bit of money. I mean, yeah, okay, the income is measured in the thousands, but still, we're making a tiny bit of money off that, which is quite nice. Okay, right, so continue this. So yes, it says, make sure you have necessary technical skills. So let us put in an awful lot of work into there. We want it to be usable, however. However, we then have nothing for aesthetic. So bring that down to 25, in fact, 20 for usability. Oh, 22. 22, bring that down to 65. Have the rest in aesthetic. So it can look okay, because yeah, it's a CMS web development for a website. So yes, it's going to be ideally WordPress using graphics, video testimonies of clients, products and service info. Yeah, so it's going to be the back end, I think, because that's what a CMS is. It's a content management system type thing in my bob. So let's have a go at that. Let's see if that's a good combo. Hopefully it is, because if it's not, we might find ourselves a little bit short of the money. Oh, they've got two grand. We've got two grand. It's okay, but our money is coming down all the time. Oh, and of course it's pause. Sorry, Betty. Sorry, I'd left you in pause. Whoa, look at those stats. You have really started joining your website. I know. I know, James Snip. It's amazing, isn't it? You've done a really good job. I never thought you'd make it. Thank you for your confidence. I was going to make you a coffee, but you're not having one now. What do you mean you never thought I'd make it? Absolutely. Do not. Do not get on the wrong side of Betty. Whoa, she's furious. You do not want to get that anger at you. Um, hush, it's not important. The important thing is keeping the users you already have. Getting a user to come and join a site is difficult, but persuading them to keep using your service will be exponentially more challenging. You must continue to expand your startup by developing new features. This will ensure users stick around. I would love to see how you grow your startup, but unfortunately, I have a date with another assistant. Oh no, I forgot her name. It's <laughs> Seri or something. Okay, right. So is that the tutorial done? I think maybe we've seen the last of uh, the last of James there. Okay, farewell. Farewell, Clippy. Okay, this contract thing, going very nicely indeed. Have a monthly balance of 200 or more. Training unlocked. Oh, that's quite good. Oh, we've just finished the website thing. So Tech 10. Oh, Oh, okay, right. Aesthetic and usability were quite terrible, but that was good. But they seem very happy. They seem very happy. You did an excellent job. You have a bright future ahead, and you'll probably earn your dad's approval. Probably. I'm really not sure. Still, great work. Okay. So yes, we had to produce a minimum score of four. We got 6.8. So the worst bit of work we've done so far, but it's paid as a huge pile of lovely monies, which is very helpful. And we get another $500 as well, which is excellent. Okay. 
Now we need a monthly balance of 200 or more. So we need to just keep sort of uh, churning out features. So we've got add friend. So do we now go further up to comment or do we go over to profile page theme? Because we can't do everything and a theme shop. Oh, oh, this is exciting. I think we get those. Let's get those two little sort of branched out bits there and then they'll be sort of sorted there. We can get them fixed right now. So let's get them in. 24 days, so 693 Betty's... Betty's motivation is coming down ever so slightly. How can we, how can we make you a bit more motivated? Do we, can we send you away or something? Hang on, pause time for a second. Employee list. Can we, if we right click? No, that just takes us back to the thing. Ah, there's a little sort of beach umbrella type thing just there. I assume that is send your people away on holiday, but unfortunately it's locked right now. We're going to have to get that balance sorted, don't we? Okay, right. We might have to do this stuff while feeling slightly nonplussed about everything. Okay, right. Continue that. Um, so, profile page theme. Some people like a blue background for their profile page. Others like bright green text on orange background. <laughs> and the guy who dresses up as a bat loves everything to be black and grey. Who can judge? Okay, so what do we need? Aesthetic. Okay, so pop that up to about... 55. Usability does need to be quite high, I would have thought. So 25 and the rest in... Ooh, that's a bit much for tech, maybe. Drop that down to 16. We'll have a couple more points in that and a bit more in usability. Yeah, okay. That looks pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. 57. Do you know what? Can we sacrifice a point in that? Two points in that. Make it more aesthetic. Make it look all sorts of very nice. Because that's what this is about. It's about themes. It's about theming of the pages. So, do you want to increase that a bit more? Let's drop that down by one. Drop that down by one. Put that up by two. 62%. Yeah, okay, fine. Develop that. So let's get this done. Oh, yeah, we need to move time on. Sorry again, Betty. Okay, it's looking good. She's doing a bit of testing on it. And here we go. How is it? Oh, it's not very good. It's not very good at all. We have struggled with that. Okay, yeah, look, it's not gone up. It's, oh, yeah, that's not brilliant. That's not brilliant. That is going to, uh, that's going to bring us down a little bit. This site's okay in a wishy-washy sort of way. If it had a flavour, it'd be vanilla. or wouldn't have any flavour at all. Unless bland is a flavour. Right, Flory Bonnier. Right there. Crikey, that's harsh. I suppose, you know, maybe you are a critic or whatever. Yeah, okay, maybe we should have put way more in aesthetic. Way more, and possibly a bit less in usability and a tiny bit less in tech. Um, yeah, okay, that's that's the worst thing we've got on our site so far. Okay, never mind. Whoa, look at that score. It's so bad that I thought a toddler made it. Wait, on second thought, a toddler can do better than that. James Snip, there's a reason nobody liked you before. This is why. What happened? I don't know. It's like my brain is refusing to cooperate. Ah, that's why, because she's tired. This is all built in. Okay, you are demotivated. Sometimes when you receive a piece of bad news, failed in contract work, or simply too tired after working on your startup, your motivation will decrease. Take time off, go on vacation. You will be as fresh as new in no time. I tried, but it wouldn't let me. Hmm, stop working to be more productive. It's somewhat ironic and makes sense at the same time. But I'm not sure about our cash, though. Our cash is absolutely fine. We've got loads of it. Here, let me pay for your first vacation. Next time, make sure you save some money for a vacation or a reserve when some pirate kidnaps your employee. Okay, is that likely to happen? <laughs> Are there pirates in this game? Thanks. Wait, you're kidding about the pirate, right? Sure, probably. Life is a mystery and we never know for sure what happens in the future, right? Weird, but thanks for the treat. I'll go on vacation to clear my mind. Okay, vacation is a lot. Well, now it is. I wanted to go on vacation before we built that thing. Okay, vacation uh, allows our employees to recharge their energy. Click on the employee and press vacation button on the lower right. Okay, so go to there and yeah, pick Betty, go on vacation. So it's going to cost... Oh, there's different ones. There's different ones. Oh, this is exciting. So you can go to the barber shop for seven days. Wow. Okay, that, that, that extreme hair right there. Okay, so that gets motivation plus 10. No, we want more than that. Going fishing, motivation plus 20. A dino park, motivation plus 40. Yes. Or bungee jumping. Or an, an, an what? An undersea dinner? Okay. Oh, no, you're, you're, you're in a room of some description. I thought maybe we were just sort of floating around in scuba gear or whatever. I thought maybe we were the dinner for a shark. No. Um, If we do 60, that'll get us... Hang on, hang on. 40. That gets us back up to 93. That should be okay. That'll be fine. Get free tickets to all areas of Dino Park and as a bonus VIP access to the Dino Park Petting Zoo. 
<laughs> no thanks, where fatalities among school-aged children have fallen below 50% since issuing AK-47s to all park rangers. Yeah, let's spend a thousand dollars on having a little break and go to the dino park. That sounds fun. So she beams away to the dino park, and then I guess we just sort of just sort of sit here and wait for her to come back. When does she come back? We've got one and a half thousand users and our wonderful website. This is very encouraging. However, don't know what we do now. Just sort of sit and wait, do we? Yay, there we go. So motivation, 56. Current, 96. Good. Splendid. Okay, that's nice. Can she come back now? We've sent one on vacation and we got $1,500 for that. I think we just made a profit on that, which is quite nice. We all made mistakes. Like I did when I chose to become a virtual assistant before it was cool. Now, when it's finally a big deal, people suddenly forget about me. It's the eyebrows. It's the eyebrows. What? Do you understand what I'm talking about? If you do, that means you're old. James, I understand entirely what you're talking about. Anyway, the point is we all make mistakes. If you made an error then, uh, when creating a feature, you can revise it. A lousy feature means higher maintenance costs or a competitor will develop a better version than you did. So I can revise a feature when it gets a bad score. Ah ha this is wonderful. Okay, so a new objective has been added. We've got three of them. Do a post-mortem for one of your features. Okay, is that in here somewhere? Contract work. Okay, maybe we go back in here. Click on this. Revision. There we go. Revision. $347. We've got loads of it. Let's revise this. Okay, so now we're all kind of happy again. We're right back on it. So we did see that the aesthetic was not enough last time. It got 6.6. .6. That got 7.7, .7, but it's more about aesthetics. So let's bring the tech down. Let's bring usability down. And let's put the aesthetic right back up. There we go. Develop that. Get that done, please. And now you're all sort of happy and motivated. Now you've been to the dino theme park and seen some dinosaurs being shot by AK-47s or whatever. Then you'll be able to make an absolutely wonderful job of this. And here we go. It is coming up. There we go. Right, so it says, did you get a low score? Use a post-mortem review to analyse your contract work. Okay, right. So we don't know yet. 8.7 is the current score on this now. That is significantly better than it was. So tech went up. Even though we spent less on tech, didn't we? Didn't we drag that down? Um, so yeah, usability went down, but yeah, aesthetic right up there, which is absolutely what people want from that. Easy as pie, yeah, but indeed you're going about baking again, okie doke. I mean, it does say do a post-mortem for one of your features. That is one of our objectives. Why don't we just do this now? It's $70. We'll just do a post-mortem review. We'll just see what went wrong with that. So there we go, $500. And revise a feature, $500. The money is rolling in. Who's giving us those $500? <laughs> Where are they coming from? Okay, so what is this? Less than enough, less than enough, less than enough. Oh, we we can't we can't put more in all of them. That's physically impossible. But there's no way that we can put more in all of those things. That is an impossibility. Those things all add up to 100. We can't put more in <laughs> unless we put more people on it or something like that. Okay. Right, continue. So now we just want to work to having a monthly balance of 200 or more because then we can go and do some training. And I imagine that means that we can train ourselves up in various skills. Then we can do better stuff. Okay, okay. So what are we looking at? We've got traits to spend. We've got two points, but they're all three right now. So we can't get any traits. How about then? How about we do a spot of... What's on? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Pause time. Pause, 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 pause. Where's... What's your motivation like? 91. Oh, that's absolutely fine. Let's get ourselves. Let's get um, let's get this done. Let's go and get the theme shop sorted. So we've got the themes in. Now we can have a little shop where people can go and buy their own themes, which is nice. Income per 1000 users is $3.13 up to $31.31. But the maintenance is quite a lot. But that could make us loads of money. If we make a good job of this, it's very expensive. It's $984. But okay, let's have a go at this. So, theme shop. They can go and buy their own themes. Uh, aesthetic skill. Right, okay, we put this on lots last time. So there we go, usability, bit of tech. Drop the tech down by one, push that up by one. There we go. Let's develop that and see what happens with that. So move time on. Betty, let's go make ourselves a theme shop. Okay, it's being implemented. It's now being tested. In terms of our balance, we're only losing $27 a month, which, you know, we're losing money, but it could be a lot worse. Okay, that was quite fabulously terrible. I mean, it's it's still quite profitable. Load it up, it works. Just long enough for it to crash. Unfortunately, okay, load it up again and it tries to show you two seconds off the previous crash time. Okay, right, it's not very stable. Okay, let's do a post-mortem review of that then. 
Leap Startup Competition. We've been invited to Leap, the biggest startup competition in the country. Join now for a chance at winning $10,000 along with fame and glory. Oh, wonderful. Will there be cake? Will there be cake? Because if there's cake along with the fame and glory, I'm absolutely there. The Leap competition is dedicated to medium startups and it scores based on how much your startup grows. Join now and we'll monitor your startup growth for two years. At the end of two years, we'll announce the winner. I have no choice but to confirm my attendance with this. Okay, fine, we'll have a go. If only your startup were more mature, this would be an opportunity to showcase. You don't think we have a chance of winning? With the current state of your startup, it's possible. Just as possible to create a whole word processor program using assembly code. Great, so we have a chance. It won't be easy. Great things really are, but I guess we could make winning this competition to one of our milestones. So what should we do to win? Since Leap competition is to measure how we grow, we just have to create more features and try and bring as much value as possible to our users. When our users grow, so does our startup. Great, I'm excited about this. Okay, me too, Betty, me too. And we've unlocked training. We've unlocked training. Hang on, we've got 13,000 users? What? <laughs> when did this happen? It was on 200 and something not that long ago. And we now make $1,643 a month. Wow. Okay. That's brilliant. Yay. We've got training done. Okay. Training is unlocked. Wow. That's that's quite amazing. Right. Can we do this evaluation thing first? Because this the theme shop went all sorts of wrong. This is really quite fantastically useless, isn't it? Um, it's all less than enough. But we can't put any more in. It's, it's physically impossible. Unless... Hang on. I wonder if we go and do some training. Where, oh, where was training? I've, I've missed the training button. Where is it? Um, in there, possibly? Yeah, send your employee for training. Uh, okay, yeah, let's do that. So, Betty, go and get some training done. Um, what does that do? Tech. So, that adds to technology. That adds to usability. That adds to aesthetic. And that adds to marketing. Okay, how about, how about a bit of aesthetic? Let's try and get that in. Shall we? That's usability. There. So we'll watch, we'll watch a YouTube video called You Are Just My Type for some reason for 10 days. We're going to watch a YouTube video for 10 days. Oh, it's not, it's YouTube, sorry. Okay, $2,000. We've got the money. We've got the money. Let's do this. I mean, this is going to take a heck of a long time. So, right, we'll just sort of sit and wait for Betty to come back then. Okay, right, training result is back. And yeah, we've gone from Aesthetic 2 to Aesthetic 4. Okay, do you know what? Do you know what might make sense? To do quite a big chunk of training on all of those things. Uh, we've trained the CEO. That gives us two grand. That is very welcome. Oh, hello, Johan Alberg. Hello. Do you know I am? Uh, no, do I want to know who you are? Um, should I? Oh, sorry, my psychic powers are out of practice. Oh, Betty. Betty, give him a, give him a bit of sass. There we go. Your sarcasm is not amusing. Uh, neither is your face. Uh, well, how am I supposed to know who you are? My name is Johan Alberg. That really didn't help me. Humph. Sure, the name Alberg Industries means something to you, at least. Oh, I've heard of Alberg Industries. Wait, but the head of Alberg Industries is named Manfred Alberg, not Johan. The head of Alberg Industries was Manfred Alberg. My father has passed away and I am his sole heir. The power of Alberg Industries rests in my hands now. The head of Alberg Industries... Oh, okay, so I'm sorry to hear that also we're competitors. I mean, you know, Betty's not horrid. She, she's sorry to hear that his dad has passed away, so I'm sorry to hear that. Have no fears. Alberg Industries is safe with me. Um, I meant because of your father's death. Oh, yes, tragic. <laughs> I don't like you. Yeah, I can hear how torn up you are. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know that if you try to compete with Johan Alberg, you shall surely fail. Uh-huh, thanks for warning, but I'm not giving up. Humph, we'll see. I mean, bear in mind that I work out of a bedroom. I don't know quite why he's bothering, but okay. Right, Betty, how about we just do, if we just train you in technology and usability as well? So yeah, we've got the money for it. Okay, so yeah, go and go and do a bit of tech sort of uh, tech research stuff. A big name singer announced she's a big fan of your product. While many people love her music, others hate it. Okay, do nothing or publish. Do you know what? No, we'll publish that. We'll publish that. I mean, yo, you can't make everyone happy. We might as well say, hey, this big name singer likes our stuff. And the people that like her might come over to us. So yeah, okay, we'll publish that. And Johan Alberg has posted a job with alluring benefits, including an unlimited dental plan, a salary that's five times what you offer, and a yearly vacation using his private jet. This will make it harder for you to get the top talent. We've not even tried to get anybody on board yet. So, so shush now, Mr. Alberg. You can just clear off, right? Ah, and our endorsement there of the celebrity singing person that liked our, uh, our site has actually sort of paid off. That's exciting. More people are pleased than displeased. And our users went up by about 400, which is good. Okay, and tech has gone up. Usability is the same. Yeah, okay, so tech has now gone up to six. 
So then we want to do usability. Let's let your competitors snatch some of your company's market share. Don't worry too much. Competition like bad flu. Sooner or later, we will catch it. Keep developing new features that people love and you will beat your competition in no time. Okay, right. Hang on a second. Hang on. We need to do one last bit of training. Oh, crikey. We can do research as well. Hang on. I want to do one last bit of training. Ah, we've got 5,000 in our account. Okay. <laughs> we've got an office upgrade unlocked. Okay. Good news. Okay, wow. All sorts is going on. I just want to go and make a read a book. There is someone out there with an office to rent for a very low price. It's a good time to upgrade your office. By upgrading your office, you're able to hire an employee. Get away from the weird smells. Don't I live on my own? Or is it Penge the Fish? Have we not cleaned out Penge the Fish? Okay, confirm that. Click to upgrade your office. Okay, right. One thing I want to do. Here we go. Send you on training for usability because you lack a little bit of skill in that okay right let's just get that done let's see if we can just you know get that done without any interruptions whatsoever going on and there we go that is much better so now our skills are very much improved except marketing but we've not done anything with that yet so that's absolutely fine okay so betty is home safe and sound which is wonderful and i think what we'll do is we will finish up for now but we will come back to start up panic because i think we've only just really scratched the surface we're still working out of our bedroom there is more stuff for us to do we need to go to a new office we need to hire some employees we need to do some research and of course we need to keep developing our fancy website software thingamajig in order to bring more users in to make us more money and all that kind of stuff so yes there is much more to be done so we'll come back to this and just see what all of the extra kind of fancy exciting bits look like but we'll finish up for the moment hopefully you have enjoyed this i've had a lot of fun with this i like this it's like a, a nice sort of casual sort of relatively calm sort of game there's you know there's nothing sort of screaming at us that we need to go and do this now we're gonna be bankrupt or the you know, bad stuff's gonna happen if we do this that or the other it's you know it's it's quite a nice sort of laid-back game which i do quite enjoy so yes i've had fun with it hopefully you have too if you have then please do leave a like that would be most marvelous indeed and and also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Startup Panic. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. How are we doing? You've just circumvented the queue. You, Sarah, cheat. Oh my goodness me, there's 12 million people that just come in from an airplane. Are you a skeleton? Are you just Skeletor? Is that all it is? You, Maddo. You are a pain. You are a scourge upon this earth. People are urinating on the floor. <laughs>